The bliss of the guru is the bliss of samadhi. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of Atman. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of Parabrahman. The idea of samadhi, the bringing together of the highest intuitive truth in one place. It is the spiritual event of realization. The guru is the same as or one with this event. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of Atman. Atman is the consciousness of the self. The guru is one and the same as the self. One is the same as consciousness. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of Parabrahman. Parabrahman is the supreme consciousness, is that. Is the God consciousness, the totality. The Guru is the one and the same as that. This is Pure mysticism. Mysticism is that quality of experience that goes past reason, goes past meaning, and is experienced directly by consciousness as consciousness. These lines from the Gita speak of the direct nature of the Guru. That the principle of the Guru, which is more than a a person or a place, arising at a given time, but an eternal spirit that arose as, a, as an aspect of the creation at the moment of creation. As the creation arise, arises, it arises in layers of spiritual law. The principle of the guru is present at the beginning, present at the middle, and present at the end of the creation. It is an aspect of the triunity of creation, salvation, and the eternal presence of the truth. The idea of the guru is dynamic, it is the expression of mercy, salvation, deliverance from the wheel of the law. It's a, it's a safety valve. within the system of consciousness. The word guru
by its very matrika expresses the subject-object split of the nature of consciousness. The division between the ocean of consciousness and the creation. The pathway of the Bhairava from the ocean of consciousness to the throb of creation, the spanda, into wherein the unity begins its movement into infinite diversity at the level of mantra. The appearance of the shattering of the one, the level of vibration into infinite diversity and the oscillation of vibration into formation, mudra. Produces this idea of a closed circuit. The ocean of consciousness arising to the ohm point. At the ohm point, a division occurs and the ocean of consciousness begins the process of becoming the creation. This is primal mysticism, a primal idea. In the beginning, there was the word. In the beginning, there was the sound. Sound is the mantra, the vibration. What was before the beginning? The everything of consciousness. The idea of consciousness moving into the throb of creation, the diversity of vibration, and the envelope of the manifest physical creation. And this idea of what we call the own point takes place at the level of spanda, that idea of the one becoming the many. And right at this point, we see the complete layout of the word guru. The syllable gu represents the manifest of the diversity, the creation. The syllable ru manifests, expresses the infinite light of consciousness. As the two syllables are bound into a single word, we see that concept of division inside a wider concept of unity. The idea of the creation is thought of as the unconscious, that which is not aware of its own nature. It is manifest. The idea of the ocean of consciousness is supremely conscious. The syllable gu rap- represents the unconscious manifestation of the creation. The syllable ru, the infinite light, the unified light of supreme, supreme consciousness. It's important to pay attention to this in that it shows that the guru concept arises at the beginning. It is not something way down the chain. Thus we say, the 
bliss of the guru is the bliss of Parabrahman, supreme and unified consciousness. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of Atman, the bliss of consciousness of the self. This idea of self is actually one of the more recent manifestations in terms to imply the interconnection between an individual in expression, a, a perceiver, separate perceiver. Or it could be in the great sense of Atman, or the great sense of the infinite creation, the para-Atman. That the guru is one with this para-Brahman. Is that. That the guru is one with the Atman, the self. Is that. It is not something that leads to that. It is that itself. The bliss of the guru is the bliss of samadhi. The samadhi is the transformational state of consciousness wherein <coughs> one being, a, a being who is bound in separation, realizes its unified, its, its unified nature and draws all together in one place the idea of samadhi. Altogether in one place, the recognition of the highest intuitive truth. The guru is that. <coughs> guru. Consciousness and unconsciousness. Two syllables bound together in a single idea. And this idea is incredible. The idea of, of consciousness being the true sphere. And then this idea of consciousness dividing itself from itself, expressing itself unconsciously. This has always been the question, what happened? How did it happen? Why did it happen? Mayor Baba says it was the arising of a whim. I've always found that a spectacular thing to say. Is what is a whim? If something arose out of nowhere, whims don't have a reason. They don't have a purpose. If it had an intent, it wouldn't be a whim. It would be an intention. I think that's as close as it gets to an explanation we're ever going to get. <laughs> 